Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you want the video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. This is a short video on differential pressure level transmitter calculation for diaphragm seal type with capillary tube. I will explain calculation procedure by taking one example. Now, let's go to calculation. As you can see from the diagram, this is the example of dual remote diaphragm seal on closed tank. First of all, it is important to understand that, the transmitter position does not affect the calculation, when dual remote seals are used. In other words, it does not matter whether the transmitter is at, below or above the bottom tap when dual remote seals are used. And the LRV and URV are the same for all three conditions. As you can see, in this example, the distance between bottom tap and maximum level height is 30 inches. And the elevation distance between lower seal tap and upper seal tap is 40 inches. In addition to this, remote seal is filled with glycerin. And specific gravity of glycerin is 1.263. And process fluid is water, and its specific gravity is 1. So, at 0% or at minimum level, DP transmitter high side has 0 inches H2O pressure, which is multiplied with specific gravity of water, which gives 0 inches H2O. At the same time, DP transmitter low side port has 40 inches H2O pressure, which multiplies with specific gravity of glycerin, which gives 50.52 inches H2O pressure. In this case, differential pressure is minus 50.52 inches H2O at 0% level or, at minimum level. And this is our lower range value in this example. Similarly, at 100% level or, at maximum level, DP transmitter's high port side has 30 inches H2O pressure, which multiplies with specific gravity of water, and it gives 30 inches H2O. At the same time, DP transmitter low side has 40 inches H2O pressure, which multiplies with specific gravity of glycerin, which gives 50.52 inches H2O pressure. So, the differential pressure is minus 20.52 inches H2O at 100% level. And this is our upper range value in this example. So, in this example, DP transmitter gives 4 mA output, when differential pressure is minus 50.52 inches H2O. And DP transmitter gives 20 mA output, when differential pressure is minus 20.52 inches H2O. As you can see, this is the example when DP transmitter is installed above low seal, and 0% level is also above low seal. However, as we discussed earlier, transmitter location does not affect calibration range calculation, when dual seals are used. So, in this example, LRV and URV will remain same as previous example. However, the transmitter mounting elevation must be considered when one diaphragm is connected to tank, and other diaphragm open to atmosphere. As you can see, in this example, the low side of DP transmitter is open to atmosphere. So, in this case, we need to calculate elevation of transmitter from low seal, when we calculate calibration range of DP transmitter. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. Thank you once again.